The romance of the young athletes turned out to be stormy but fleeting. Not long ago, Tatiana Tarasova confirmed rumors about the separation of Alexander Tarasova and Mark Kondratyuk. Even their most devoted fans no longer doubt that the young people broke up. However, neither Sasha nor Mark have yet shared personal experiences about what happened with third parties. The desire to protect their relationship from prying eyes might seem commendable if not for the couple's previous actions. A few months earlier, Tursova shared her love story throughout the country, which turned out to be her salvation. The Winter Olympics in Beijing became a difficult test for the girl. Despite a series of difficult jumps, the victory went to another Russian, Anna Shcherbakova, to which the offended athlete initially reacted extremely violently. It was at that moment that Sasha was extended a helping hand, which she grabbed like a drowning person. But recently, fans of the couple began to notice that their favors stopped appearing in public together. Moreover, Alexander Trusova was no longer seen at Mark Kondratyuk's training sessions. The final confirmation of the breakup were the words of the legendary coach Tatiana Tarasova, who turned out to be well aware of what was happening on the sidelines of figure skating. At the same time, not so long ago, the figure skater's ex-boyfriend started talking about something terrible, which seriously frightened the fans. And while Mark is suffering intensely on camera, his ex-passion is not wasting any time. Today Tusova made an official statement about her departure from Russia. The laconic video was recorded by the red-haired beauty from the airport just before her flight to China. Hello everyone, I have already arrived at the airport. Today I'm flying to China for a show, I'll be skating two numbers there right in the comments your guesses about what kind of music I'll be skating to. The smiling figure skater intrigued the people. Alexander Trusova has always been distinguished by a champion and disruptive character. It's not for nothing that fans call her the Russian rocket. The beauty with fiery red hair won silver at the 2022 Olympics and is preparing for new victories. After the test skates of the Russian figure skating team, the athletes spoke honestly about her colleagues. Trusova noticed that fewer and fewer athletes are trying to perform complex ultra sea elements. The champion connected this sack with a change in priorities in figure skating. Now ice queens are focusing on beautiful choreography, clean performance and a spectacular program. Alexander Trusova explained that these parts of the performance are rated higher than jumping. The figure skater believes that her colleagues decided to adapt to the system. However, the Russian rocket itself is not close to this approach. Tusova is sure that sport remains a sport, so she is interested in setting records, conquering new heights, and not skating like everyone else can. The athlete told the Akko YouTube channel about this. Alexander Trusova said that she will always take risks in figure skating. At the test skates this year there were only 4 attempts at Ultra C among the girls, you jump 5 in one program. What do you attribute the rollback to? Everyone began to focus on choreography, on the purity of execution, on the program itself. Still, now it is rated better than jumping. And, probably, everyone adjusted to the system. This is a choice of everyone, absolutely, whoever thinks so. I'm just the kind of person who has always taken risks, will always take risks. In my opinion, it's not interesting to just skate like everyone else can. It is very difficult to do 5 quadruples. For me, sport will always remain sport. You can see how beautifully you skate in this show. How did you feel when you performed 5 quadruples in the free program at the test skates? I always do better at skates than the competitions. I didn't go there to do 5 quads, just to show my program and skate well. But there was no such thing that I definitely had to do 5 quadruples now. It happened so, of course, I was very happy. And I was very pleased that everyone reacted like that, standing up and clapping. It was all very pleasant, but I understood that this was not what I was going for, and that goal was not fulfilled. Because I wanted to compete. Do you think that at 18 years old it is possible to show the same complex technique as at 16? Yes, sure. I competed at the Olympics when I was already 17 and a half. And this is almost 18. I'm sure that, in principle, everything that you showed at 16 can be shown at 15. The figure skater said. Alexander Trusova spoke about the injuries she received during the Olympic season. Maya Kramik and Sofia Akativa entered the short program after injuries. Have you had any injuries that affected your preparation for the season? During the Olympic year I had an injury. 
I missed three weeks. I just didn't write it all to heal and get back into shape. I was told to put on a cast, but I refused because I might not have time to recover if I had a cast. I always think it's important to finish your treatment and then start training again. It's easier to recover this way. Was there any disappointment that you couldn't go to the Japanese Grand Prix due to injury? Well, of course it was. I really wanted to perform at all competitions and to the maximum. But this was the only chance to compete at the Russian Championship and further at the next competitions. Said the silver medalist of the 2022 Olympics. Alexandra Tersova spoke about her impressions of the test skates. Good impressions, I really like watching figure skating. Skating is always the initial stage, some are ready, some are not quite in shape, everything will be more visible at competitions. Do you have any regrets about watching the test skates from this stance? No, I really like watching it live, it's a completely different emotion. And if I had the opportunity to attend competitions or skates, i try to do so. Which season's test skates are your favorite? Well, of course, Olympic ones. And not only because everything worked out for me, but in general because these were very important skates, I was preparing for them as if for the Olympics. I was completely ready, all the elements were restored. All the athletes, it seems to me, also prepared very hard. Didn't it seem to you that this season the test skates were weaker compared to the previous ones? They probably decided to work a little differently. It is very difficult to keep in full shape from the beginning of the season to the end. Maybe they decided that it was better not to perform at their maximum just yet, in order to get into the right shape for the main competitions. Which of the dancers did you like best? I don't know much about dancing, to be honest. But I have favorites, of course, these are Sasha and Vanya, Stepanova and Bukin. I love them very much, they skate great, beautifully, sensually. I think they are great guys. I think it's quite difficult. I'm very happy for Sasha that she gave birth and returned very quickly, it's difficult, I'm glad that she succeeded. Of course, I will root for them, they are in first place. Who will compete for the top 3 of the Russian Championship this season? Kudebrdiva Bazin, Shaniva Draz, Kavernin and Arizhny. Sasha and Vanya are not even discussed. But everything can change, there is still a very long time before the Russian Championship. Which of the singles skaters did you like the most? In the short program there are Mark, Kondratyuk, Zhenya, Semenenko, and Gleb, Lutfalin, and in the free program, Mark, Zhenya and Dima leave. Mark and Zhenya are in good shape, they skated both programs well. Were you present when Alexander Samarin's programs were staged? Tell me how it was. Sasha generally jokes often. Interesting choice. It seems to me that at the skates he did everything more openly, it was such a delight. In training he is more reserved. Which of the men can collect five quads in one program in the near future? Lots of options. Kondratyuk, Semenenko, Lutfalin, Gumenik. The one who wants and works harder will jump said the 2022 Olympic silver medalist.